Another game we're gonna watch gonna be Kilsen and Wenger. Also, what I like about this matchup is the classic like uh, champion pick, so slash Nix. Slash has slightly uh, faster, not necessarily better mobility, because Nix also has good, good movements on this map. She can change from the bridge to rail, which is very important here. I think uh, Slash needs to play really fast, try to bully on items, and Nix needs to make sure to not die and not fit and uh, keep the score low and eventually try to kill the Slash. This is my opinion. Yeah, uh, one uh, one little thing for context. At this point of the league, uh, Kilsen was uh, unbeatable. He already defeated Racy and Rafa, and probably in between the the big players or the big names, Wenger was the only one left. And well, let's see what happens. What do you guys prefer to be in this matchup? I prefer Slash. I think it's 50-50, I like Nyx. Mm. I'd say like Athena versus Slash is more 50-50. Nyx, I don't think so. You think Nyx is worse or better? A little bit worse. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Because like if you're like in a very, very bad spot, like without invis and without items, you just can't run from Slash. It's impossible. While Athena, you can actually like run like vertically. Yeah. yeah. So if she comes like from below, she, you can actually like grapple up. From second you or can third floor. always escape with Nyx once. Yeah, once, exactly. Once. Exactly. once. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, I didn't pay attention, but does Kilsen have a rare already? Probably not, right? I think he should have. Let's see, I think the game gonna be super slow. It's always like this in this matchup. What I really like with Kilsen is like on DM6, he, he really tries to change the, the side of the map a lot. From Rocket to the Catwalk. Uh, I think he shouldn't lose this fight because Wenger was coming by jump pad, right? Like you cannot let like the other guy come by the jump pad and kill you. Actually, I think that's a huge mistake here. Oh 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 oh! Uh, here there is a mistake. Yeah, wow. another mistake. Wow, man, what some was mistake that? Because uh, you, he couldn't. Uh, sometimes he couldn't you can't see? just no. He can't. Uh, you can't just simply stop, stop the stop. movement and he just jumped. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Either that or maybe when you, actually, really when you crouch, when yeah, you hit the ledge crouching, yeah, that's actually the bug. CK or come on, man. <laughs> it's that or he like really, really hurt Nyx somewhere else because sometimes he also misjudged no, no, no. the sound. You, you so can't stop there. that. You. No, it, like the way that he went there, uh, it's because he couldn't stop. Probably he wanted to just continue on bridge and he couldn't just stop. The, did it never happen to you? Like sometimes, like you, you're jumping. Yeah, it did, but not, not from like rail to bridge. Probably he came just full speed and he couldn't just stop. I mean, another thing that we need to understand here is that they are partners, I mean, uh, training pra pra partners. That's another factor which might play their role. Mm. They know each other really well. I think their games are always like really, really slow. What is really important from Kilsen that even if he got fracked like in a not really lucky way, so he might have tilted or something, He's still keeping his cool and trying to keep the score low. I think both champions cannot feed really much. And especially at this point, like... I uh, think lights in general. Cannot right. feed. Yeah. yeah, lights in general, light champions in general. It's like simple comparison. Let's say if two tanks play, they usually feed all the time and they try to re-rush after the frag because usually the stack is low. Even the second guy is rushing because he wants to like restack or something like this. So it's constant like... Dying and, and feeding, but with, with lights, as you said, I think they cannot like feed at all. And the problem here that I see is that Wenger is just not missing rail, so what to do? Also, Kilsen is just dominating the, the high area. Uh, like all the time he's playing yeah. on but the middle of the map. It doesn't give well. him anything if he doesn't like frag mm. or hit shots. That's important. Nice. Yeah, just three in a row in a hard to hit slash. Like, what yeah. can you do? Oh, I think that it's also like important to mention that at this point, we we, we were like uh, running a different patch and the hitbox were a bit bigger. bigger. So it was like a little bit easier to hit slash. That's but true. But still, like, I don't want to take credits out of Wenger, of course. But the same case with Rafa Rezi match, which we watched, yeah. right? Same yeah. Thing. Do you like new patch, guys? I do. Yeah. I didn't feel much difference from the last patch, but yeah, I feel like he's all right. Well, what we should say now, as Caster say, that there is still time, but uh, we play the game professionally, so we, we kind of know what's going on in the game. Mm -hmm. So it's like, uh, I don't want to say anything, but for me, like at this point, it's really hard to make a comeback. 
like but it's that. possible i mean it is possible the, the thing is that Kusen is not using his ability to just deny time vials. Yeah. And I, um, of course, he's making some pressure here and there. Like now, he forced uh, Wenger to use the ability. Yeah. But the thing I, uh, I think that he's not reading that well. Uh, the problem means I think in this scenario, it's like it requires also some mistakes from Wenger, not only yeah. brilliant plays from Kilsen to win it. But it, re it requires two players to do some things to, to, to make it uh, switch. I think Wenger needs to do some mistakes and Kielsen needs to play perfectly till yeah, the end. It's, it's a hard comeback for sure, but since like they are both playing light champions, it, it, is, it is definitely doable, I feel like. But like you said, it, it will require maybe like some mistake from Wenger or maybe like some misleading sound. Yeah. Like, especially if it's Slash when she's like uh, using her ability. You can actually tell if she's like coming like from the first floor on the second, and that can be That's misleading. So. But also on the other way around, when Slash is running a lot, she also cannot really spot Nyx when she's like mm -hmm. uh, not really like loud on the map and things mm -hmm. like this. So it works both ways as well. It's really difficult for Slash now, I think. Look, let's see. I mean, you said uh, uh, needed to, to play a perfect game, basically, and Banger to make mistakes. To win this game. Yeah, look at this push. Like he knew that uh, Mega was already up and taking that jump up was a huge mistake. You actually need to land three perfect rockets and he didn't. I, th I think only he landed one good rocket. So I think uh, for the push itself, it, was, it wasn't good at all. I think it wasn't good at all. But at the same time, I can understand why he did it. Like he needs to go. Like he needs to, he needs well, to he go. He still go, has go. five minutes, right? But yeah. maybe. But we also don't know what's going on in his mind, right? Maybe he kind of get impatient. This, these little things are very important. It's really hard to like judge them because you don't know what's going on in their head. Yeah. Like Quake is a lot about mental things and maybe he get just a little impatient. Maybe he, as I said, like there's a lot of uh, like, uh, a lot of bullshit is happening. If you, for example, misjudge the sound or something. Like I remember I played like uh, or CNZ or Wenger and I heard him running, uh, chasing me from lower ground on the ruins and I jumped, from, uh, I heard him running from top and I jumped down and he was actually down and I jumped straight to the guy who was chasing me <laughs> because I misjudged the, the sounds. It looks like dump, but this is what was uh, like, uh, this is what, what information I gather from the game. So it's like, it's really hard to like judge quick players, I think. Yeah, the sure rocket time. game from Banger, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, and that, that, that finisher, of that course. That was ridiculous, yeah. But you guys will see, I, okay, I'm gonna give a little bit, uh, a little spoil, spoiler here, mm -hmm. but like, Kusin's gonna make like a lot of frags, like back to back. Mm -hmm. It is too late, yes, but. Yeah, now you can already see by the, by the movement on the X-ray of, uh, of Slash that he started to play faster. He understands that ga game is most likely lose, lost, so he needs to speed the tempo and try to like put some miracle frag and then the only thing he needs to count is like he needs some spawn frag like at least one to three make the game game eight to three and then he needs another miracle and another spawn frags or something like this because Wenger also not gonna like you know yeah he's, all, he's already he's in this pretty well he's already like playing super slow and then that, that is that that rocket is like a, yeah like ice cold and look Another interesting thing about Quake, even though the score is 8-0 and somebody gonna say Kyushin is so bad, he's losing 8-0, to zero. But, <laughs> but the game is actually close, that's the, that's the thing. Like there's many also close games when the, and the frag, frag difference is like quite, uh, quite huge. And I think that was the game where, where also like uh, Wenger did this cool YouTube video where he put the camera behind him and he like filmed it in real life. So he filmed himself like playing his screen and everything. Super nice video. If you guys didn't watch it as well, just make sure to, to visit like Wenger YouTube channel as well. He's doing nice content for you guys too. <laughs> Fucking OG man. Yeah. So yeah, look. So now Nyx has no invis and Kusen has the speed. First ray of boom, another frag probably here soon. Yeah, well, at this point we, we know he lost the game because it's one minute to go anyway, so, but still. And as we know now, because we are after the, that's nice, yeah. we are after the, that was interesting spawn. Hmm. I don't think it happens nowadays. 
like on this patch? Yeah, of course it is. I mean, they didn't remove any any patch. They didn't remove any spawn, you say? No. The, yeah, no, the yeah. spawn was, was a mod. It's a still there, but uh, it's a really rare spawn. Oh, that's also an unlucky. Well, if that, that we if, for. yeah, if that if that situation happened like maybe like two minutes ago by like the seven thirty minutes yeah. mark, he still would be like looking good to make a comeback. But anyways, yeah, GG. Well, a ton of things that Kilsen needed from this map actually, in order to just make more and more uh, frags. But the thing is that naturally this, uh, these players know each other really well, and Benger knows when Kilsen might be aggressive, which actually he's not that aggressive. He knows when to push, and he, when he does, he tends to be really, uh, really good at. Uh, succeed on his own on his own terms basically and well Banger knows him really well and he didn't allow it and we can mention that uh, the, the regular season ended in a, in a way that Kilsen took the first place of the whole like online stage anyway so yeah he I mean, didn't like uh, he ended up 14-1 uh, so 14-1 so he lost only to Wenger, basically. Only against Wenger. So that's super like good stage. Let's. I'm interested in how he gonna do like on finals now. I think he will do. He will do really good nonetheless. But uh, but the thing is that uh, I think there is a ton of pressure on him because yeah. online he did really good. So it's like okay, you are the one. You only lost one uh, match and it was two one. Yeah. Uh, against your training uh, partner, mm -hmm. so it, it but can, also, it can yeah. Special. But also, uh, what you guys think about it? Because I think like they played on old patch, and like literally every single patch comes out to quake. I feel like I'm playing different kind of quake. It's like the 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 the, the change is like if I would switch from quake four to quake live, basically. Mm, I think no. this patch can change everything in Kilson. Maybe he doesn't feel comfortable anymore. No, or I don't feel like, like that. No, I don't feel like that at all. So I think he's like strict favorite for winning on. Also, no, I, I mean, like, okay, yeah, well, he's definitely like one of the favorite, and uh, I, I also think like the way uh, Kilson's game game style works actually fits uh, like very well to like online stage because online, online. stage. Yeah, because online stage people actually play faster, right? People actually... On internet. Yeah, yeah on internet. Yeah. People are actually playing different. But when, like, LAN events, like, start, people start to, you know, play a little bit more slow, more carefully, and that's, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know, that changed a bit. The so th you think it works in his favor on LAN or not? I think not. on LAN, he's not gonna be, it's not gonna be that, I don't know, I don't know, that, actually, I, I feel like yeah. online he's still gonna struggle more, for sure, because like, he's like defensive play style of his, of like, you know, sitting like in the middle of the map, and like, listening to sound clues, it works perfectly for online, where people mm -hmm. are like, you know, oh, let's go, let's go, yeah. you know, online people actually, the majority of the players, man. not uh, not everybody, yeah, but yeah usually, people usually yeah. like, go slow, you yeah. know, so, I don't know. Well, the thing is that, um, it all depends because uh, on land is a different story always. But the thing is that how many tournaments Kilsen have won on land during Quake Champions. It's a totally different thing. I think he only had a Quake on 2019. Yeah, well, saying only it's like quite no, exaggeration he... considering that there is only some players who won. And well, uh, the thing is that won't look during QPL, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, he won he won't mostly look on internet. Well. But I think he's like still capable to win on land. No, of course, course. Yes. I'm not saying yeah. he's not. I'm not saying he's yeah. not. I'm just saying that. Let's not get argued, because no, we argued no. yesterday when we let's, played let's two These two guys are... <laughs> let's argue now. But no, I, I, know, I know what you guys are saying. It's like same, like he can win, he can lose. It's like, as we said before, it's really, really hard to predict something quick. Hmm. It can go bo both ways. And it's, as you said, LAN. Let's say he comes to the LAN and he just doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right. He doesn't feel like sounds are not that good. Or maybe his, maybe his internet at home is super good. And then he comes to LAN and it downgrades his aim a bit. For the most players it will be easier so. to play on LAN <laughs> because you usually play bad on the internet. But maybe Kilsen, Kilsen has two connections, right? He can switch between them. He always chooses the better one. He has super good ping to every server. So maybe he feels so comfortable after, especially after playing three years or two, two years we play like during the situation. Last, last LAN was last in two years, yeah. So like last two, three years, he's playing only online. Maybe he's gonna come to LAN and it's gonna be slightly worse than at home. 
So he's gonna be like a bit less and people will be a bit more. You don't know what's I gonna think happen. I think that happens, uh, I think that happens to everybody, like naturally, right? Like, yeah, but the thing is... Especially, the, sorry, but especially now that everybody like is playing with 360 hertz monitors at home and online we're gonna have like 240s. So I think that we're gonna downgrade like combat Yeah, so it comes to so many little things. Across the board. So well, yeah. but that, that's what he's saying, it's true. I mean, players are playing 360 uh, online. They, now they were just downgrading to 240 during practice, preparing for 29 hertz. No, 29 hertz. <laughs> Some people uh, do like this 29 hertz. And the thing is that they, <laughs> you can see that players are playing a little bit worse because they can't perform. They can't perform uh, can't on that, uh, the well, shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> uh, they are performing worse, and also, if they are playing on other connections, like Sir Nosferito, now their dodge is uh, easier to hit them, because it's not, they are not on their houses, they are not in their same connections. Like trying to say that Felipe is bad? Felipe... Well, he will no, do what he's trying to say, <laughs> I, I can explain. Basically, okay, explain. Like, when I'm playing at home, I'm usually playing like with high pings. I don't even care about dodging because I can't. Finger. Because I can't dodge. I just can't dodge at home. So I just so dodge. Really, I don't really care. The internet dodges for you. Probably, yeah. So we forget to dodge on land, and you just no. go straight land. Yes. Anyway, we get off topic a little bit. Uh, that's it, guys. We did a review two maps, like, uh, and I hope you enjoyed it.